A more advanced progression of the two poles is to do three poles. It really doesn't matter how far apart they are, again just the same as the two poles, but it is in very important in this exercise that they are of equal spacing. So walk your distance from your middle pole each way to the two outer poles so it's of the same length. Then you want to see again what the horse does naturally through there. In this exercise mine did three to warm up really normally in both exercise. Again getting the pole within the canter stride each time and that's my job as the rider and our job as the rider. To increase the difficulty I might then ask to do three strides and then four strides and collect in the second part. You can do three strides and then go forward and do two strides However, I'm not a fan of this as a most, a well, most well-schooled eventing horses should do this very easily going forward. Collecting is often more difficult on a forward-thinking horse. So, to again make the, whole, make the exercise further difficult, I would then ask for three strides or two strides in the first part and then four strides in the second part. If I feel the horse is not listening to the half halt, again I will simply make the halt. And by being quite strict about making the halt once or twice, I'm then, I'm then able to get a forward two strides and a collected four strides very easily.